Hey there Taurus, welcome to Shared Sentience and thanks so much for being here, really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general weekly reading. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all that stuff's going to be addressed within the description box down below, as well as information from my Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon. So for 1313 Monthly, you can join me over on Patreon. Um, <clears throat> I just completed the remainder of the May readings for each sign, so if you guys would like to check that out, uh, there's going to be a link in the description box down below, okay? So... Um, the, the tools we're using here today, I'm going to be using double six dominoes and I'm also going to be using, um, universal weight tarot. Uh, and I purchased all my tools on Amazon if you guys are curious. Okay. So all right. So we got another one popping out there, but I've just been taking two for everyone. So that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, we've got six, six, which is a very fortunate domino. We also got one, six, which is, um, it can be trying something a uh, another time. Excuse me, I don't know why I said a different time. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces, okay? You could also be dealing with a Libra. Uh, but that's what I'm seeing here for some of you. You could be uh, you could be having a reconnection with a Pisces or a Libra. Something like that could be going on here. There could also be an Aries or a Virgo involved here. Some of you are going off on a new path is what I'm feeling here as well, okay? 6-6 six, six is like a very fortunate domino. It's the most fortunate tile that you can get, so it's a really good one to have. Uh, but 1-6 here uh, is telling me that you're repeating something. But with the 6 showing up, that's saying that it's going to be more fortunate the second time around. So if this is a reconnection, it's going to be better the second time around, okay? I do feel like there's been some solitude, some time alone. Somebody has had to think about something here. So this could be you. It could be someone you're connecting with. And this doesn't even have to be in love, but I do feel like you guys have a new start here because you've been paying attention to the details of something, okay? Some of you have really been listening to your intuition. Yeah, others are learning how to how to separate your intuition from your emotion, okay? So that's interesting as well. Some of you could be starting a business or doing something new, okay? There's success in that. Definitely a lot of wealth and abundance coming in here. Security, stability, uh, also loyalty. This could definitely be some commitment, all right? And it could be with a fire sign, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Taurus, okay? I'm hearing Leo, all right? So it could be any fire sign, but I'm hearing Leo specifically, so that might be a clue for somebody. Okay, so the heart of the matter here. What's the heart of the matter? <clears throat> What is the heart of the matter? There's Sag and we, there's Scorpio, okay? And then we've got Sag right here. So those signs might be significant to you guys. What's the heart of the matter here? What's the heart of the matter for Taurus today? The world, fixed energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. What's crossing you? Ace of Pentacles, uh, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What lies above you? The Four of Swords, Libra. Okay, what lies below you? Uh, the Five of Pentacles, Taurus. Hmm. Yeah, so there, there's some solitude here. What lies behind you? The Page of Cups, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Before you, the King of Swords, Aquarius. Okay. I feel like you guys are studying something for a lot of you. Tell me about how Taurus is feeling here. The Ace of Cups, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We'll take this one too because it wanted to pop out. And then Scorpio with this King of Cups. Uh, some of you could have two people to choose from here. Could be an Aquarius or a Taurus, but uh, it doesn't have to be. Um, or excuse me, an Aquarius or a Scorpio. Uh, some of you guys could be a water sign um, or a Taurus moon or rising. Okay. Environment, please. Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Okay, have some fears. The lovers, Gemini energy, okay. And the final outcome here. The Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, okay. High Priestess, yeah, you guys are trying to follow your intuition. That's why I see an energy in this situation here. You're trying to close something out, um, but you feel like there's still potential, okay. The World card is about 
cycles ending and new ones beginning, okay? Uh, you're trying to focus on yourself, but there's potential here for something, okay? I feel like you're feeling left out or abandoned by someone. This could be a group of people for some. I think you're working on being comfortable with that, being okay with that, okay? But you're having a hard time with it. Talk about King of Swords. Can we talk about King of Swords, please? The full Aquarian energy. Yeah, more Aquarian energy here, okay? I think you're trying, I almost feel like you're trying to understand someone's point of view here in a way that makes sense to you, that gives you the clarity to move forward, okay? That's what it feels like to me. But how you're feeling is the Ace of Cups, uh, King of Cups, okay? So Ace of Cups is like, uh, you know, it, it can be emotional fulfillment, but it's also just overflowing of emotion in general. I think you're feeling mixed emotions here, but I think you're trying to balance things out. I think you're trying to get back to a place of emotional stability. Uh, Seven of Pentacles in your environment. What is this? What is the Seven of Pentacles, all right? What's the Seven of Pentacles about? nine of wands wounded warrior sag energy okay i think you're trying to heal from something but there's still some bitterness attached to it okay um i do feel like this was a connection here because you got the page of cups in the past um tell me about the seven of pentacles nine of wands the hermit yeah Someone's very quiet. I feel like some of you were trying to manifest someone in here to communicate something. Yeah, Ace of Swords to communicate something. Uh, but I don't see that coming in here in your environment, okay? I see you being disappointed in the results of something. You've got the lovers as hopes and fears. So I feel like there is some distance between you and a person. Uh, in this mountain here, there are some challenges to overcome. And I think you're hoping to overcome those and come back together, all right? But the Four of Pentacles showing up, I don't see. The number four is going to be significant to you at this time as well. Some of you might be dealing with um, an Aries or another Taurus. Can you the Four of Pentacles, please? The final outcome. Page of Wands, Fire, Aries, Sag, Leo. So the more that you bottle this up, the more likely it is that you're going to blow up, okay? Uh, yeah, you're holding something back here. Aquarian energy. I feel like some of you just need to speak your mind about something here, okay? You need to speak your mind, speak your truth, and then that's what's really going to set you free uh, is what I'm feeling, okay? I feel like there's a person you're at a distance from. There's a person you're not talking to. I think you just need to get those last words out, and that'll be fun. That's what's going to put you back in this place of balance, okay? Even if nothing is said back, even if, you know, you know, whatever, however it turns out here, I feel that this is what's going to make you feel better, okay? I really do. Anything else? Anything else here for Taurus? <clears throat> yeah, so Magician, Virgo and Gemini, and then the Six of Swords, Aquarian Energy. Yeah, so I feel like once once you do this, it's actually going to allow you to move forward, okay? It's actually going to allow you to move out of this energy. Uh, the Devil is Capricorn, uh, Aquarius with the Six of Swords, and the Magician is uh, Virgo and Gemini. But yeah, I feel like that's what's going to actually allow you to move forward is expressing how you're feeling here, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here. Uh, for you Taurus. I hope this was helpful and insightful and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great week.